Coach, we've been, you know, we've been kind of evaluating the squads and stuff like that, and um, I've been kind of hanging out here in the gym watching the coach. Uh, what is, um, you know, what's the cheer profession from a coach's standpoint? What does it mean to you? I mean, how'd you get involved? Um, give us a little background and give us kind of your perspective on, on things and what makes it so special, what makes it special to you. Well, I know for me personally, I, uh, I cheered in college. Uh, I, got a, I actually got a job at a small all-star cheerleading gym my senior year of high school. Um, I had just been around, kind of dropping a friend off, and uh, you know they asked me to start flipping over some standing back handsprings, and then I ended up working there for the second half of my senior year. And um, then when I cheered in college, it seemed like a natural uh, progression to just go ahead and keep coaching through college to help pay my way through school. And... You know, I really fell in love with it. I like working with kids. Um, I like the whole idea of teamwork and, and athletics and competition. And I know for most of our employees, this is something that we're very passionate about. This is a career. It's not really a hobby. We have a lot of adults. We have a lot of college-educated people. And, um, you know, I think imparting the lessons we've learned and, and the things that we've learned through working with young people over the course of 10 or 20 years for some people is... Um, that's the reward we get is being able to pass that on to this next generation and, and teach these kids about having pride in our program and what it, what it takes to be a champion and the hard work you have to put in and attention to detail and time management. And we're teaching a lot more than cheerleading at Stingrays, but the, it all translates into cheerleading pretty well too. So we're, it's, it's a labor of love a lot more than it is a, a job for most of us. That's great. Great. I mean, what, how are you, um, but what kind of hours do you guys put in? I mean, obviously it's around the clock. Right now it's around the clock. But what, uh, it, what, uh, it really depends. Um, we do have a few employees who just coach teams um, because maybe they teach. We've got an accountant, um, various different careers. So some of those people work on a more limited basis. Our full-time people are generally on call as far as emails and emergencies and things like that, basically 24 hours a day. Um, those of us who are full time are getting into the gym somewhere between one and two generally every day, and we're here till about nine thirty or ten every night. Um, in the summertime, when we're teaching our camps and our choreography, most of us, at least one or two days a week, are pulling a uh, a twelve or thirteen hour day, coming in at at nine o'clock in the morning and staying until about nine or ten at night. And then um, at tryout season, that's we, we could easily put in, you know. 15, 16 hour days for, for three or four days straight to get that all ironed out. But, um, you know, we do get our, our Christmas breaks and our Thanksgiving breaks with the kids that helps balance it all out. Wow, that's great. Any, any last words at all? It's just always a good day to be a Stingray. We're happy to have you here. We're, we love what we do and we're happy to share it with everybody and anybody. And we appreciate everybody that watches, all our fans. And um, we just love doing this and we uh, hope to be able to do it for years to come. Great. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, thank